At this hour, it appears the largest city in Ukraine, Kyiv, with a population of almost 3 million, is under attack. Reports from the ground say explosions have been heard nearby. The Ukrainian government is reporting 137 Ukrainian soldiers were killed within the first few hours of Russia's invasion. The country is barring any men between the ages of 18 and 60 from leaving Ukraine and urging residents to take arms. Take a look here at this tweet from Ukraine's Minister of Foreign Affairs saying tonight, Horrific Russian rocket strikes on Kyiv. The last time our capital experienced anything like this was in 1941 when it was attacked by Nazi Germany. Ukraine defeated that evil and will defeat this one. The invasion is underway as Russian forces enter Ukraine from the sky, ground, and sea with tanks and helicopters as Ukrainians take cover in subway stations seeking refuge. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky gave a grim update on the war underway. 137 soldiers dead and more than 300 wounded. In his address from Kyiv, Zelensky saying he believes he is a top target of Putin who looks to terminate the head of state and topple the government. According to our information, the enemy has listed me as target number one and my family as target number two. This map giving a clear indication of the Russian invasion, Russian forces attacking from the north, east, and south. The Chernobyl power plant, the site of the worst nuclear disaster in history, has been taken over by Russian military forces and holding civilian workers hostage. Ukraine is fighting back. This video from Eastern European media company Nexta shows one of six Russian helicopters being shot from the sky by Ukrainian air defense. Today, I'm authorizing additional strong sanctions and new limitations on what can be exported to Russia. From the White House Thursday, President Biden issuing what he calls strict economic sanctions targeting Russia. Every asset they have in America will be frozen. The sanctions include cutting Russia from the financial systems which move money from bank to bank around the world, limiting their government from taking part in the global economy, sanctions against powerful Russian oligarchs and wealthy families, freezing assets from four major banks, including VTB, the second largest bank in the country. The sanctions now target 80% of all banking assets in Russia. In light of the sanctions, Russian stock markets plunge. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken tells NBC News the sanctions are a steep consequence for Russia and more could follow if Putin continues the aggression. At the end of the day, if that doesn't stop President Putin, we've made very clear, along with all of our allies and partners, that there will be massive consequences going forward, a price that Russia will have to pay for a long, long time. President Biden has vowed U.S. forces will not engage in the fight in Ukraine. However, the president has ordered additional troops to Germany and Poland to defend NATO territory should Russia continue moving east. World leaders are calling on Putin to retreat, including French President Emmanuel Macron, who says that he would like to mediate a ceasefire between Ukraine and Russia. We will continue to bring you the latest updates from the newsroom at 11. Live in the newsroom, Pedro Vera, KTLA 5 News.